Friends, we have another hurricane. Not only that, we have another chemical fire. Uh, we have a bunch of firsthand reports coming in from Georgia as well as North Carolina and other places inside the U.S. Uh, where the storm damage has been great. Um, we're going to get all those updates and more to you. A lot of what's going on out there. Uh, let's jump right into the reports. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. I am out here in Spain uh, hiking the Camino de Santiago. Uh, I got all the uh, blue flies with me, as some of you guys have called them, uh, because uh, we're near some vineyards here and there's just lots of flies relate, related to that. But um, please do keep your updates coming in. Make sure you were, use the word update somewhere in your comment. It can be on this video or on any video on this channel uh, that gets it to the right place. Um, before we dive in, we do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. Uh, they help people who have retirement accounts to get things settled, uh, get out of all these uh, companies that hate us, stop investing in Disney and Amazon, and uh, don't be an owner in these companies that are actively undermining everything you believe in. Um, a lot of you are, uh, you have your retirements partially in these companies that are actively donating to uh, politicians that you do not support. Uh, so be aware of all those things, right? Um, let's, uh, let's talk more about that. Uh, if you want to get some more information, there'll be a uh, link at the end of the video about how you can get out of that and get into gold with your retirement account. All right, Hurricane Milton. Uh, is preparing to strike Florida this week as it strengthens in the Gulf, um, and it couldn't be at a worse time, possibly a Category 3 or possibly ending up as a Category 4. Um, that is a very, very strong hurricane. Um, not the highest that we've seen, but it is just squaring off on uh, uh, Florida, and hopefully it, I mean, I hope it doesn't hit Florida. That's where my parents live. But at the same time, I certainly don't want it to go and hit Georgia again or North Carolina, especially with uh, what's going on up there with the recovery. So hopefully it does stay away from those areas, but we will continue to track it. Uh, Angela says, uh, Orlington, Maine, the Eagle Point energy company that runs a plant that burns trash for energy had a fire caused by a lithium battery. It's been burning for days. At first, they uh, told people to keep their windows closed and not go outside. They always do that. They always tell you to stay where you are, and, uh, and then they go out there and they try assessing stuff. And it's days before they know how dangerous it is. At that point, they go, oh, well, it's already over. Um, Honestly, if you see these chemical fires going on out there, if it's close enough, uh, you should hop in your car and you should get away until you know differently. It's an ounce of prevention, right? Uh, all right, so at first they told everyone to keep their windows closed and not go outside. Later they said everything was safe. People miles away have been, have been complaining about headaches, breathing issues, and sinus pain. Uh, there is a moderate air quality warning this morning that extends 50 miles or more from the fire. I was in Bangor, um, a few towns away Wednesday, and I could definitely smell it. I have a headache, had a headache that afternoon. They, they put these warnings out not for you, remember. Uh, they, they're just trying to keep people from panicking, and they would rather you stay at home and just um, not make it. Uh, then for you to panic and actually cause them paperwork or a headache or themselves, right? Uh, so chemical fires, probably a good idea to get away. Um, so if, you, uh, if you're looking behind me, uh, you are seeing the Camino de Santiago um, de Fr Frances. Um, I am towards the end of the, uh, the pack of people. It is uh, the afternoon here, but morning for you. Um, Gina says, um, Fort Stewart Commissary, Southwest Savannah, Georgia. Store still uh, one-third empty. Regular stores nearby pretty stocked, but military one very sparse. 90% um, of the fresh stuff is still fine there at the uh, other stores. Uh, plant nearby to make cars are going to be all electric now. Uh, what? <laughs> That's their comment. Uh, still building south of Savannah in bog, boggy, low-lying areas. 
Uh, they flooded last two storms in many housing areas around there, but no lessons learned there. And the insurance companies are either um, paying for them or the government is paying for them, which is <laughs> you and I. Quigley says, um, Ireland, a four kilogram uh, bag of Maggie potato flakes cost me 20 pounds or 26 US dollars two years ago. Today, the same item cost me 36 pounds, so 20 pounds to 36 pounds or $26 up to $47, an 80% increase. Um, we're seeing that, uh, yeah, most of us are seeing double the price. I just put something out on my Twitter uh, account. Uh, I still won't call it X. Anyway, um, they, uh, it was a video from 1997 of McDonald's and it had all the prices up there and it was like 390, uh, three, three something for a Big Mac uh, combo meal, value meal, right? Absolutely crazy. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're looking at like what, 12, 13 bucks for a combo meal now? Uh, remember back to the days where, where normal, ordinary families could afford a value meal. Uh, those days are long gone. Raising Warriors says, uh, my sister in Ohio uh, showed me her email from the hospital that she is a nurse practitioner for. IV fluid is being rationed. Uh, they have it even documented on emails now. Um, so we've been telling you that and uh, warning you that if you have to go in or if any loved one has to go in to get uh, any kind of procedure, be aware that IV um, is being rationed. Uh, that is not just the saline solution. That is also um, how they administer uh, drugs, how they administer um, other things, and also especially people on dialysis. Uh, this is a very severe shortage out there. Uh, BMW says, uh, from Georgia Power Storm, 8,000 poles have to be replaced. This is Georgia. Uh, IBEW says, uh, four-man crew takes four hours to do a pole. 8,000 poles times four men times four hours. That is just, that's going to be a lot of people taking a lot of time, isn't it? 1,000 miles of power wire damage. 1,500 transformers need replaced. This is just in Georgia. We're not talking about North Carolina, South Carolina, or Florida. And over 3,000 trees need to be removed from the power lines as well. I, what can I say about these bugs? I am just so sweet, <laughs> right? Uh, JJ says, uh, the postal service has been hacked. I went into my local post office to find out why my priority mail was sent from Nashville all the way to Vancouver, Washington, and from there to Portland, Oregon. <laughs> why? That's the wrong direction. And then back to Vancouver. It was properly addressed to California. A, uh, it was a gift. The manager told me that U.S. Postal Service systems have been hacked and thousands of packages have been sent to the wrong places. So U.S. Postal Service hacked. Not mentioning that, are they? And so packages going to the wrong places. I pointed out that at least 15 people had handled that package as it had gone out for delivery at least five times. Had nobody looked at the physical address. Probably not. They probably just scanned it and put it in the bin like they were told to do. Uh, but you'd think that uh, them knowing that they were hacked would have them taking extra measures. But I mean, it's like what we're hearing in uh, North Carolina with, uh, with FEMA. We're, we're hearing that FEMA uh, employees are staying in the nicest hotels around, which is totally believable. Um, they get reimbursed for them, right? So they're, they're finding those or they're getting put up there. Uh, Red Cross actually does something kind of similar. Uh, but that, and then, uh, then they're only working nine to five on weekdays. So if you don't get your thing in by Friday to them by 5 p.m., you're not gonna hear back from them until Monday. That's what we're hearing out there. Uh, and I, I believe it. I mean, they're, they're employees. Uh, that work for, for a government that allows them to take that type of uh, attitude towards stuff. All right, um, had, his answer was, 
to uh, whether anyone had looked at it. His answer was that he was calling to see if the last place had the package and could send it to the correct place. I paid for three day delivery. Well, your gift is going to be late. Um, next time, might want to try UPS or FedEx. Um, Sam says, uh, Cadillac, Michigan. Friday, October 2nd, save a lot, Aldi and Walmart. Absolutely no butter of any kind unless it was butter in a tub. Uh, that was spreadable. Meyer, no. Uh, no butter of any kind except for Land of Lakes, two packs at eleven ninety four for a two pack. Yes, I just paid $24 for four pounds of butter. Uh, no cereal or razors this week, I guess. Sandra says, um, or Sandra, uh, Steve, my cousin lives in Asheville, North Carolina. She was told it will be six months before the water system is fixed and working. Um, take that one with a grain of salt, but uh, because it's someone sharing something that they heard, uh, whether that's uh, what the officials are saying at this point, um, I haven't seen that same thing said. But uh, um, once again, that's apparently their understanding of things. Uh, Sandy, someone different, says, I live in Roan Mountain, Tennessee. And uh, I'm about 15 miles from Banner Elk. <laughs> Banner Elk, as in most places, some are completely devastated. Then across the street, someone else's home will be just fine. Those people who can get to Roan Mountain to get showers and supplies and etc., are not being let back into North Carolina uh, unless they have an ID. So uh, they're blocking people from going to North Carolina without an ID. More than likely, the freezing rain and winter is going to sit set in in a week or two. My concern is all those people um, up there who have no heat, no shelter, no food. We are poor folk up here, and a lot of us don't have house insurance uh, let alone uh, money to buy gas or kerosene. I want to thank everyone for their prayers and their donations. They are definitely going to the right places here in Roan Mountain. God bless all of you. So um, word out there, at least in Roan Mountain, that uh, donations are going to the right places, that people are being taken care of, but that is very concerning to hear um, that uh, that even residents are not being allowed back into their uh, into their areas without an ID. Millie As says, um, Costco in Fort Worth, uh, uh, Texas, has uh, never been low on anything. Uh, even through the cough, cough. The store has been always been spectacular. Uh, Thursday, October the 3rd, the store was slammed. Canned chicken breast was gone, no water, no paper towels, no toilet tissue. An employee said all of those items were gone by 12, um, 12 noon. Uh, the store opens at 10 a.m. Uh, blueberries are in shortage due to hot weather blamed on El Nino. Uh, they, there used to be many grocery stores when I was young, including many gro in independent grocery stores, but the corrupt FTC will allow Albertsons and Kroger to merge. Our choices are getting slim by design. Food is more important than gold uh, or silver. D Freak says, um, Southwest Oregon Costco. Our neighbor said it was uh, abnormally busy. Uh, th they worked there. <laughs> and people were insane buying up all the toilet paper. One lady told uh, my neighbor proudly that she, she's a prepper. My neighbor said, if you were a prepper, you wouldn't need to be here. And that is really the heart of it, right? It's not prepping when uh, times are tough, uh, not waiting until the storm to stock up, but rather stocking up before the storm, being prepared so that when it happens, uh, you don't need to race to the store and fight the crowds and uh, everything like that and try to scrape together whatever you possibly can. And then here's a, here is a, someone from North Carolina who has been affected by the storm but uh, was in decent shape and some of the people that they talked to that were already prepared. Randy says, um, Steve, we, and then after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a little bit about uh, uh, where I am with things here in this journey. And then also, uh, I'm also gonna share a little bit about uh, just the idea uh, of, 
of, of um, sorry, uh, there's a question that keeps popping up. Uh, people keep asking the question, uh, what good are preps if you get flooded? I'm going to answer that question. Uh, Randy says, um, Steve, we are um, we are in McDowell County, North Carolina. Old Fort, North Carolina is in this county. We are avid preppers and in decent shape, uh, living on a hill in the eastern part of the county off I-40. I spent today delivering sandbags from my stocks to a ham radio club friend who is cut off as his driveway is washed out and can't drive out. Otherwise, he is okay. Uh, Off-grid life, solar electricity, gravity, uh, spring water, etc. As far as the county, can't get to Asheville, which is 40 miles west. Uh, Old Fort is washed away. Three highways up the uh, Blue Ridge Mountain uh, highways, 80, 221, 226, and 226A. Mudslides, trees, and bridges uh, damaged and roads impassable and washed away. Me and my wife watching you uh, daily, a.m. and p.m. After I got her to watch you, she likes it and doesn't like to miss any days uh, when we can't watch. Uh, she doesn't like any of the tradition, traditional prepping channels. And I think that that's, uh, that's great uh, that we have uh, lots of different kinds of channels uh, for different kinds of people. Um, and, uh, you know, um, I just wanted a channel uh, that uh, does stuff the way I like it, uh, which is tell you right up front uh, what the video is going to be about and also just kind of gets down to business. Uh, if we have some personal stuff, we can always throw that at the end of the video. Um, I, I'm, you know, but uh, different channels do things different ways and different people like different things. All right. So what good are preps to you if uh, there is a, a storm that wipes out your preps. Well, if you're prepped and your neighbors are prepped, well, then the hope is that one of you guys or multiples of you uh, will have your preps intact. So um, that's the idea, is that if you uh, have neighbors who are preppers and they get washed out, and they lose all their preps, you can help them because you have prepared. So that's why I always kind of stress uh, not just prepping for yourself, but prepping for other people as well. Um, you never know. Uh, you may, there may be very, very responsible people that get, uh, that get taken out in a fire or, uh, or in a flood, that type of thing. So um, always be prepping some extra and be prepared to share. Uh, plus, uh, one is none and two is one, right? Uh, you're always going to need duplicates and extras of things. I always do suggest doing that way. Uh, first, get the cheaper item. The cheaper, like whether it's a stove or cheaper water filter or something along those lines. And then later on, you can get the more expensive one. Um, and then the inexpensive one can become your backup. Um, or the one that you give away to someone who, who is in desperate need. Um, ideally, you have uh, two backups, and you can give one of the backups away. All right, so where am I? Um, I am on the way to San, uh, Santo Domingo de la Cablaza or something like that. Um, this is the uh, Camino back behind me. Um, if you want to hear some of my... Uh, uh, thoughts on the spiritual side of things. You can always check that out over at Poplar Bible Studies. Uh, I am uh, doing those weekdays, uh, a, a meditation on kind of uh, what uh, what kind of comes up and what, uh, what I've been thinking about uh, while on the path. Um, it is uh, 21 kilometers today, uh, which is probably going to be about uh, started uh, right at 8 which for me is early. I was the very last person out of the hostel today. Uh, like literally, I, because they had us put up our boots. Uh, when you come in, uh, they sometimes have you put up your boots in like on a rack or a shelf. And uh, so I put up my boots uh, last night and there was like 40 pairs of boots or so. And I was the very last pair of boots uh, this morning that uh, came off that rack. So uh, I was uh, late at 8 a.m. But uh, he, you got to understand, uh, sunrise is at 8.12. So I was out before sunrise, technically. Uh, it was light enough to see. Uh, but um, today is a relatively light day, um, But uh, which is why I'm not shooting this uh, from, uh, from a room inside a, a hostel or something like that. But uh, it was supposed to rain today, so I was trying to get a jump on things. But then the rain uh, apparently is not going to be a problem. Uh, but the rain is going to be a problem tomorrow. 
So uh, we're kind of dodging that kind of stuff, uh, rain and uh, sun, uh, lots and lots of sun. Uh, I'm doing well, but uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work uh, trying, to, trying to do all the YouTube stuff as well as doing um, the, uh, the seven to eight hours of uh, hiking slash uh, moving from place to place, uh, all that goes with it. Uh, but uh, lots of uh, thought and everything like that. And you have to do research on where you're going and what the route looks like and all that kind of stuff like that. But uh, um, these are people back behind me that are doing that as well. Um, and uh, all right, hopefully that was uh, helpful of an update and uh, a little bit of an insight on what's going on here. All right, friends, thanks so much for joining with us. If you want to get some more information from Genesis Gold about what you can do to get out of uh, businesses that are funding uh political campaigns that you don't like and you just want to get into gold, silver, or platinum, physical metals, uh, you can click on that link right there, fill out the form, and they will um, they will let you, uh, they'll answer your questions about what you can do with your retirement account, whether it's an IRA, 401k, or something else. Uh, also, if you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up there. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of The Poplar Report, out.